Okay. This is a model ram pump. Operation. Pumping water. Something like three times the height. In a real situation, there would be a stream here flowing from only six foot head probably this is equivalent to here, it's probably six inches in the model. The ram pump is down here, and slightly higher upstream is the header tank, which keeps a constant head of water fed from the stream. And there's a long pipe which goes down to the ram. Water flows out of the clack valve here. The force of the rush of the water closes the clack valve. Water flow ceases, clack valve opens again, and then the water runs again. And that process is here being repeated several times a second. The frequency of this is much faster than it would be in an ordinary ram situation, of course, where a bigger ram pump would be pumping with a valve operation about once a second. So, as the water flows down this big pipe and the valve shuts, the hydraulic force of that sudden rush of water being shut able to continue flowing out the, the valve when it shuts causes some of the water to be pushed up through another valve in the base of this run pump here below the air vessel up into the bottom of the air vessel and the pressure builds up therefore in the air vessel caused by that fall of water and that pressure is enough to drive a little bit of the water up to a much higher level. Which as mentioned in this setup is probably equivalent to three times the height of the fall of the stream. So if this were a six foot high fall, which isn't much for any ram pump, it could lift water to around a, 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 a reservoir that's say 18 foot higher up the valley to maybe where or up the hill where the farmhouse is situated etc this is just about the, the largest height i've been able to achieve with this model ram in this situation it isn't running very Efficiently, I think efficiency more to, more like ten times the height of a fall as possible. The real ram pump situation. I guess I'd get much better performance if I raised the tank a bit and went say twenty foot higher up the stream, and then be pumping at least a hundred foot. I would think in reality at least maybe five hundred foot. This little ram pump is only about eight, nine inches high in overall. The clack valve has to be adjusted very carefully using this adjustment here to get maximum efficiency. These valves here are for letting air out of the bottom of the receiver, which took over time and come actually letting water out should I say because over time this can fill with, with water too high and not enough air so you have to be able to let that out occasionally
and that's it. And clearly I have here a water pump which is pumping water back out from the bottom of the tray back in, to keep the header tank full. In reality of course that would just be fed from the stream and you'll be using the water from the stream as this power source. To reiterate, the power source is the, is the fall of water down this pipe. Six inches here, six foot maybe in reality or more. And you know, as, 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 you know, as I want to take into account the scale of this model, probably equivalent to about a six foot four. And the hydraulic force of that water hitting the, the clap valve is what pushes the water back up the system. So that's where the power comes from. It's simply from the, the water flowing down the stream. Obviously very useful in rural areas where you don't have any power available and it costs nothing to actually run, apart from the occasional wheel maintenance. Just a quick shot here to show the simple workings of the pump when dismantled. The air vessel has been removed and came off the top of there. And as you can see, we have a little valve, little rubber valve here, which um, basically is a non return valve so that if any water is pumped up into there, it doesn't return the way it came, but it goes out the delivery pipe as intended. It's a fairly is that a focus I can't see now it isn't. There's the holes on the nail. That is obviously has to be adjusted to work just right as well as everything else. And then off the clack valve we've got this device here, which is simply, again it's just a valve, but it has to be adjusted very carefully to get optimum results and to get reliable starting etc. That really is all there is to it. <coughs> 